What's up, YouTube? It's your boy T. John bringing you the good, bad, and oh so ugly. How y'all doing on this Monday? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. Now, as you see in the title, you can't fix everything. Now, you can't fix everything. I had a conversation with a homegirl of mine the other day. I was there about a week or two ago. And we were talking about relationships and everything. And I told her, I, I was just saying to her, like, yo, I said, you sure can't pick them, right? And she started laughing. I said, you know what your problem is? She said, what? You be trying to fix people. And because her last relationship, she really helped dude build himself up, you know, got him, got him straight, got him right. And dude started tricking. I said, see, you, you always try to fix people. And some people just can't be fixed. Some people just cannot be helped. And then she says, yo, the crazy part is you're not the only one that said that to me. I'm like, it must be true then. And I see a lot of people. And I see a lot of, and, I, and this, this goes for men and women. People treat pe treat people like a, like a, a like the HG, HGTV home fixer up a project. Every, every property can't be fixed. Every car cannot be fixed. I've heard, you, you've heard the story. Now, yo, you're going to pay more money fixing this car. So the, you might as well just sell it because you're going to be putting more money into it if you try to fix it. It's going to take more money. You might as well just sell it, get what you can for it, and buy something else, put it towards something else. And I told her, see, I said, the thing about it is when you in, when you try to fix trash people, toxic people, people who just ain't got shit going on, excuse my language, you know, either they ain't got no job or they, they just bumping from couch to couch or they just, they just don't have it all together and you try to fix them. And you lose yourself trying to fix them. And you lose putting all your energy into them. And you finally get them straight. And they start tripping. Acting like you ain't never did nothing for them. And now you look like the villain. Because you snapping. And you know what I mean? You look like the bad guy. While they get away scot-free. Or they flip the script start talking crazy to you. Like you just didn't help them. For the past two, three years, or the past six months, you know, like yo, you know, it's like what, you know what I mean? And and and, and, I, and I tell people like, and I told her that I said, see, you were not, you were lucky and blessed enough to not get knocked up by this trash ass dude. Then you're stuck with this this, this bum forever. It, it's like. It don't matter what. Call a uh, Chico Bean said the best. It don't matter if that person starts tripping. That's always gonna be your baby daddy. Same thing go for the go go for the fellas. Yo, you get this trash ass baby mama. She ain't worth a damn. You know. Next thing you know, she start tripping. It don't matter what. That's always going. She start being. She uh, become a crackhead, and that's still gonna be your baby mama. You know what I mean? It don't matter what happens. That's always gonna be your baby mama. You just stuck. With this person, and you gotta hope that they get their shit together. So I said all that to say that you can't fix everybody. That's a lot of. That's why a lot. That's why a lot of trash relationships. That's how a lot of trash relationships even get started. Cause you try to fix somebody. You say, oh, they can. I can fix them. I can do that. They can do. I, I can help them out a little bit. You know, get them a little health insurance. Get them off their feet because help them get a job and get them straight. But you give a person an inch, they'll take a mile. Now, I'm not saying don't help people, don't be kind hearted because that's, that's not what I'm about. But, like, I, the, I say that because when you can help somebody get straight and they turn on you. Like, you're, like I said, like you never did anything for them. And, and it sucks. And it sucks. Or you help them and you stuck with them now because you got a kid with this person, like, and you end up hating this person, like, really, like, talk about you really hate.
hate the sight of them, hate this thinking about them. Like, but you got to look at this other, this new person, this little person that you got with this person for the rest of your life. I can't stand. I love this kid. But I can't stand your mama. Or they be like, I can't stand your dad. You, like, you know what I mean? It's like, ugh. And every time you look at him, it reminds you of the person that you stuck with. You know, it's like, and the kid didn't choose to be here. But I say all that to say, everybody is not a HGTV home fixer upper. So stop trying to fix people. Because if it ain't, because if it, I mean, I would say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it can't be fixed, leave it alone. All right, that's it, done. Enjoy your Monday, I'll see you Thursday. And I know I've been slacking on the videos, I know I say this every time I get on this joint, but I'm trying to get back on track, I'm trying to get back on track. Just bear with me. But other than that, I'm out, peace.